My name is Jason Samard. I'm the founder and CEO of Sims Real Estate Group and Sims Coaching Systems. I'm here with my expansion and business partner, Eric Preston. Eric, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, what's up, Jason? Uh, my name is Eric Preston, and I'm the co-founder of 8th Marketing and Real Estate Market Mastery, which is uh, a really robust online marketing and lead generation platform, specifically in real estate. I'm also a real estate of a team, just like Jason. So let's get into this. Yeah, you know what? I'm super excited. Uh, Eric and I have, have known each other for just a little bit now, but what we've found is that we had really complementing skill sets that we brought to the table. He's got the marketing background. He's an absolute genius when it comes to online lead generation and putting systems in play. Well, we've excelled and kicked a lot of butt in the real estate space on how to convert internet leads, how to build referral processes and systems, how to build scalable real estate practices. And we kind of thought, hey, Eric, I think there's some synergies here. I think the two of us could do a lot of good in helping people sell more houses and build more long-term wealth and stability. And so you and I, uh, both have made decisions in our business. Now, I've been here for a year now. You just recently made the move, but we both made a big move to EXP, didn't we? We did, and that's what we're going to talk about. And originally, Jason and I actually spoke nothing about EXP. Uh, we actually connected because I have an online course about lead generation. He has an online course about lead conversion and team building. We just had a really good marriage of talents. So we actually started working together originally on that. And then uh, over time, we just started talking about the EXP model. And like once it actually was broken down to me in the right kind of way, it just was an absolute no brainer for me anyway. So uh, in this video, we wanted to kind of break down the model, talk about our experiences, how we got started, what were our reservations when we first started, kind of where we're at now with it, is that right? Yeah, 100%. So why don't we start off with just that? Let me talk about why I didn't join initially myself. It took me 14 months before my mind was open to EXP, okay? So let me explain why I shut my mind off and it wasn't rational at all, okay? I had been pitched the EXP opportunity by people that knew that I was a big name in the industry and just kind of like tried to sell me. And if you know anything about me, I don't do well if you're selling me. I'm a values-based person and all my business decisions are all based on values. They're very important to me. I, you could offer me $50 million to do something and if it was outside of my values, I just wouldn't do it. I won't screw over my business partners. I won't take advantage of people for money. It's just not how I do things. I love sleeping well at night. And if that means I make less money in my life because of it, I'm happy to be that way. I would rather build people up, build bridges, not get blood on my hands and do it the right way than be somebody that's cutthroat and will literally succeed at all costs, but it, it has an impact on other people. I will not cut your throat to try and beat you. I will beat you fair and square at the same game that we're playing, but I want to see you elevated at the same time. That makes sense. So I knew that I needed to make a move. I had a team that was growing and we, we really were having a hard time justifying the fees that we were paying for what we were getting. You know, the truth is my experience with a real estate brokerage has been that it's, it's really one of two things. Okay. They do two things for me. They handle my liability. So they provide me a managing broker and they handle my transactions and they make sure that I'm compliant. Okay. So that's really important to me. The second thing that a brokerage offers me is just a place to clear and process my transactions. The best example I can give you, Eric, is if you were a, an investment advisor and you worked and you had your own portfolio, you would need a brokerage house to clear the liability and those transactions for your clients when you're doing trades. Well, real estate is exactly the same way. So at the very end of the day, a brokerage is a place you have to hang your license as a realtor, whether you're a team or a single agent. So we all know that that's necessary. The problem is with, with brokerages is, is in order for them to charge you more money and take more of your, your hard earned income is they have to provide more than just the basic transactions and liabilities. So they try and sell you on the fact that they provide training technology tools, right? They, they offer you branding and, you know, they'll try and sell you on their national branding campaigns and how you need to add those. What they're trying to do is they're trying to pay for a very inefficient and very expensive model that has zero benefit to you in the form of, of revenue and equity at the end of the day as an agent. And let me ex quickly explain to you why this is to me a bit of a scam. And I'm, I'm just telling you from my experience. At the very top is a CEO. That CEO needs to be paid very well. That CEO makes profits. There's an executive team that also needs to make profits and get paid. So you've got that first layer. Then you have 
head offices. And you'll, if you're a big franchise like a Remax or Keller Williams, you'll have multiple head offices. You'll have Western Canada. You have you know all these different bricks and mortar operations and all the management and staffing that goes in that. So there's quite a few layers just right there. Then where they make their money is they sell franchises. So all of that is going to be funded by the franchisees. The franchisees have to pay franchise fees. They have to set up bricks and mortar operations, office space, managing brokers, conveyance teams, you know, marketing. Who, who pays for all that stuff? Well, at the very bottom of this whole equation is you and me, the agent, and we're paying for all of that through our desk fees or through our splits or a combination of both. We're also paying franchise fees. We're paying marketing dollar for this, marketing dollar for that. And, and Eric, we get to earn one income and that's our commission income. But the truth is we could earn that income at any brokerage that we hang our license at. Like that is our right as realtors is to earn commissions for the work that we do. Mm -hmm. And who, who do consumers hire? Do they hire brokerages or do they hire agents? Every single time they hire an agent. If you've worked in anything to do with personal brand, if you've been an agent for long enough, all agents know for the most part that you sell yourself, you sell your brand, you sell your team, and the reason you grow your business is because of you, not because of the logo you put on your sign. Yeah, it's an expensive mistake that people make for careers for a long time is thinking that the reason you're successful is because you're hanging your license at a traditional real estate brokerage or a national franchise. I call that the golden handcuffs, okay? You believe that a reason you're successful is because you're there. And one of the things that they do that's quite brilliant, if you think about it, is they play up to one thing that's very, very rampant in our industry that I'm trying to change, which is ego. What's the one thing that all national brokerages do to kind of make you feel like a million bucks and really like bring out that whole ego side of things? What do they do? Give you trophies. This is actually something that um, Yashri, my business partner, and I, when we were in the real estate marketing space before you say poke a lot of fun at because all you get for your success is a, is a trophy on the wall and they play in your ego and everyone loves to say you know i'm a medallion i'm a this i'm a that and like they try to use it to sell themselves but at the end of the day what what sells you it's offering value right well it's funny i i, I look at these people and they're posting on social media and like i'm number four in my market or i'm number five or this or that or thank you for my client the truth is like i don't think any of your clients really care about the awards they care about the value that you bring to them as far as an agent how can you help me outperform the real estate market how can you help me sell my home for more money how can you help protect me in a real estate transaction they don't care about your trophies and awards that's egocentric that's about you that's why our industry is hated we need to change that model and that change that outlook and see your brokerage. If they make you feel like a million bucks and they give you these trophies and they really feed to your ego, it'll, it, it blinds you to the fact that, Hey, they're not going to give you a single dime. The more profitable they get, the more agents you bring over as a team lead, the more agents you train, you're going to get this much from your, from your traditional brokerage. You're going to have to rely on your commission income. And this is why a lot of realtors who build teams fail because what happens is when their agents become successful, they may want to go build their own teams. They may want to go build their own real estate practice. And guess what? You are going to be left with nothing for all that time and energy that you put into it under a traditional model because the franchisees are going to likely retain those agents. So they're still going to get paid. But you as the team lead, the minute they walk off your team, you've lost a huge portion of your income. And that's the reason most agents don't retire is because they don't have a retirement plan. How close are most agents in your experience to being left in the dust with nothing? Well, my experience is this is most realtors are a life event away from their entire real estate practice being gone. And, and, I, and I don't say that lightly. Like I say this from a place of pure passion and, and caring. I see this a lot and it's happened. You know, just ask people that have been in real estate long enough, how many people they know that have come and gone and some life event happened and their business was gone. So if you're one of these agents who's, who the majority of your income comes from selling houses and that's it, and it's your performance, congratulations, like you're very successful and you're making really good money, but what you have is a high paid job. 
you do not have a business. Don't call it a business because a business has to be able to survive without you doing all the production. The minute you have that, you have a business. But right now what you have is a very high paid job. And I'm not, I'm not knocking it. If you're loving every minute of what you're doing and you have made some really smart investments outside of real estate so that you can protect your family and you've got some assets, fantastic. And if you're happy doing that, then that's a great model. But I'm gonna show you in a minute why you should consider looking at a different model, even if that's your approach. But if you're somebody who would love to have more time freedom, more balance, and you look at your real estate practice and you're like, man, I would love to help empower other people, help them make more money, become more successful, and in turn, my family will be taken care of too, then, then you need to look at a model that can allow you multiple streams of income. And, and unfortunately, you just won't get that being a renter in the traditional model, because that's really what you are. There's a fundamental difference between being at the traditional model and being at eXp. EXP, they're very transparent about who they work for. They work for us, the agent. That's it, That's they're very honest about that. You know, they don't make claims that you having EXP on your sign is gonna go, you're gonna sell a bunch of houses. They're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They're super smart about it. They're like, look, we work for you, the agent, and we've partnered with you directly. So they've built a model where from the top line, so for every dollar that of gross top line revenue the company makes, 50 cents, 50% 50 of it goes back to you and me, the agent, in the form of our stock program and our revenue share. How did they do that? That's the question that a lot of people are like, how is that possible? How is that even sustainable? It's sustainable because they built a cloud-based real estate Lean business. Program. They got rid of the franchisees, like all those expensive bricks and mortar franchises, all those conveyance teams like how many different conveyance departments they have to have each one is separate each one has its own comp plan each one has its own revenue cost each one has mm -hmm. its own manager each one has all these tear get rid of all of that get rid of the head offices and literally create a model that's cloud-based that there's one brokerage and all the departments are really efficient because there's not all these different layers and by creating that those millions, like hundreds of million dollars a year in savings, they're able to fund our programs, our stock program and our equity. Totally. So Jason and I are in different cities, not in the same province. And we have the same managing brokers and transaction coordinators because what it allows EXP to do, and I think this is what we're gonna get into in this video is explaining more the model, but a traditional brokerage with, you know, maybe 10 agents, like their managing broker has too much capacity and they have to have a transaction coordinator. They have to have all those pieces in place and it gets really expensive really fast. A brokerage with 300 people might still have one managing broker that's over capacity, doesn't have enough capacity. What EXP allows it to do is they can hire accordingly to the demand and in a very precise way. So they operate a very lean operation, which saves them a ton of costs. You know, you're not hiring cleaners, you're not paying a commercial uh, lease, you're not, paying for all of the things that go into actually hosting a bricks and mortar location. And I really genuinely think, and one of the reasons I actually made the decision to come over is because I believe so much in the model. You know, I'm a guy who already works from home. Uh, I work online. That's how I've built my business. That's how Jason's built his business is through online marketing and efficient systems that allow you to exit production and be lean and uh, efficient in the way you operate. So that's one of the biggest reasons I actually came over was um, because I believe in the cloud-based model. Me too. It, it was it was huge. I mean, I, I've watched Amazon be the largest company on the planet, and I've, and I'm watching companies like Walmart who went down a different path. They went down the super Walmart. They made a big mistake. They, they made a huge mistake. They built yeah. the super WalMarts, right? They built the big retail infrastructures. When that's not where the industry was going, that's not what technology was taking people to. And so guess what? They just made a huge announcement. They're investing $5 billion to build up their online distribution channel and to create huge efficiencies in their stores. Why are they doing that? Because they're trying to compete with Amazon who has a cloud-based distribution channel which has massive savings. Like they save billions and billions of dollars a year and are more competitive against Walmart, who at one time had the brand power. They were one of the largest corporations and they kind of had that whole same, same thing you hear from these real estate national brokerages who think they're so big and like so powerful, but they don't, if they don't have the innovation, 
they're not gonna they're not gonna make it long term. Now I'm not saying Walmart's going out of business. Walmart's gonna stick around, right? There's a place for a Walmart. What I'm saying though is if you had to put your money as a shareholder 10 years ago, you would have made a lot more money investing in Amazon than you would have in, in Walmart. Like way more. And so many businesses are going that way. Like you said, like the taxi industry having a monopoly on things and have it be just like, hey, you got to flag a taxi down on the street. Now you can get an Uber on your phone. There's reviews, there's ratings. Like it's a cloud-based efficient model. Um, it just makes so much more sense to decentralize your operations, essentially. Well, I'll tell you this right now. With COVID that's hit this year in 2020, how many businesses are looking at their distribution channels and trying to get rid of as much bricks and mortar, have their employees work from home because they can be more efficient, run a cloud-based distribution channel, and build up their online marketing channels? Mm -hmm. Almost every company on the planet in the retail space is doing that. Almost every company on the planet that's been forced to shut down conferences and getting together, they're doing that. And they can do it in a much more efficient manner. And they can save a lot of money, but become more profitable. And, and so with more profits means the opportunity to give back to your employees, to your partners in the, in the companies, to your shareholders. So what I love about EXP is they are an agent owned brokerage. We are their partners. They know that at the end of the day, we're the ones that bring in the clients, right? Like those commission incomes come from us, the realtors. They know that we attract our friends and our family members uh, to the company. They know that we attract people to our businesses. We're out recruiting. If you're building a traditional model, you're recruiting anyway. So they know that we're gonna bring people in. And so why wouldn't you wanna be a part of a model that allows you the ability to get stock instead of trophies. And we're not talking a small amount of stock here. We're talking about $16,000 a year in stock just for doing the same performance that you would be doing at your brokerage. We're talking about if you attract an agent and help them sell their first house with eXp, you get stock. When they cap with eXp, you get stock. I've built in my very first year, Eric, $30,000 worth of stock Crazy. awards in one year in stock awards just for doing what I would do anyways. I would help people sell real estate and, and, and I would share with them openly anyways. Like that's just who I am. The coolest part though is every single month since I've been at eXp because I brought my team over initially and then I've had people that have joined the movement that I'm helping them sell more houses is I'm collecting a passive income check. And to the point now where between- I'm helping them do the same. And I'm helping them do the same thing. They're selling more houses, being more profitable. As they're doing this, they're collecting passive income checks and in stock as yep. well. Eric, so much so that in my very first year, and this is no bullshit, it's like I'm being 100% genuine and truthful with you, I have over six figures of passive income that I've built outside of my commission income in my practice. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I've been able to do, Eric, is I'm now able to offer benefits to my, my unlicensed staff members. That's a huge win. That was Huge. a big win for me. Like the, I've always wanted to offer benefits, but the cost was so prohibitive, I couldn't do it. EXP negotiated an amazing healthcare plan that's available to, to our agents and available to our unlicensed staff members. And to me, that's like a, a company that's using its leverage for good. Like they're really trying to help us, the agents. We're registered on the NASDAQ too. That's a big thing. I don't know if you realize, like to be a, a publicly traded company, there's a, only a handful of companies that ever that, that make it per year, totally. NASDAQ, because it's so regulated. And the fact that we're there has been a huge, huge, huge uh, blessing because what's happened is my stock that I've been purchasing, by the way, we have a stock program where you can buy EXP stock from your commissions at a 10% discount. Yeah, well, we'll get into the model and we'll break it all down in a minute here, but. I think like going more into what you're saying, like my business being online started to take off with going back to COVID. Yeah. started to really take off when COVID happened because more and more people are trying to take their business online, right? Yep. Um, so I had a huge surge in our online coaching, our online lead generation, people realizing, hey, I, gotta, I can't generate leads from open houses anymore. I can't do open houses anymore. And so we had this huge surge of demand and then that kind of tapered off a little um, when things started to settle down and now that things are kind of on the rise again, it's like people are being like, oh, wow, I got to take this seriously. I'm not using my retail space. I need to move my business online and I need to start doing things in a traditional way. 
or in not a traditional way rather. So why don't we start breaking down the model a little bit and sure. then we'll talk about like our kind of plans together and what we offer. How's that sound? Yeah, let's do it real quick. So first, the biggest thing to know about the model is the passive income opportunity. We alluded to it a little bit here, but this is the ability to build wealth through stocks and through uh, the revenue sharing models. You want to break down a little bit how that works? Yeah, I'll keep it super simple because for some of you, that's going to be like one of the least interesting things to you right now. But I guarantee you, as you start understanding that you are going to have the ability to influence and help other people, sell more houses, make more money, you're going to be attracted to the fact that these things are just going to grow organically for you whether you like it or not and that's not a bad thing the stock program so we have different stock awards for performance so we've got our icon program uh, if you're selling between say 25 to 30 you're doing about 25 to 30 transactions a year you will likely qualify to become an icon agent or if you're doing over half a million dollars in commissions annually you'll be an icon agent and that means you'll get sixteen thousand dollars worth of stock that will be paid to you directly which is a huge benefit the next thing is is anytime you attract an agent to the company even if they're just on your traditional team which a lot of your listening are team leaders you're going to get paid stock when they do their very first transaction with exp you're going to get and it's about four hundred dollars worth of stock you're going to get stock when they cap with exp and so you're going to be accumulating stock awards and again these are publicly traded stocks on the nasdaq and the awards they only vest for they only need to vest for three years so think of it as like a four savings plan for just doing what you'd be doing anyways the next thing is is the revenue share so for every agent that you attract to the company and and again you're just opening up an opportunity that's an absolute no-brainer they'll get better technology tools we have over 50 hours of live training in our university every single week they're going to get mentorship from guys like you and me which mm -hmm. people pay us thousands and thousands of dollars. Literally thousands a month. Like thousands to do what we, to teach them what we do and how to build seven figure practices like what, what we've built and what you've been able to build on the marketing side is, is incredible. Well, we actually take what we have, pour it into you, help you build an amazing lead gen machine and then amazing conversion systems, best practices. We give you our drip campaigns, everything you need to scale your business and be more profitable and you'll get paid passively for doing it, and so do we. We get taken care of by EXP because we don't have expensive bricks and mortar, franchises, and any of those layers. And instead of charging a one-time fee for our services, like a one-time fee for a coaching service, we can now just give that away and get totally invested in the success of people who join us as expansion partners. And that's what makes it really interesting is you can offer so much value because you're now invested in people's success and you can actually make a real difference in their lives. Yeah, it's, it's like the most incredible opportunity. I mean, so much so that Eric, I took my half million dollar coaching practice that I built over the last year mm -hmm. and I've shifted it to focusing on pouring into our expansion partners. And so the majority of our coaching clients that were working with us are now expansion partners. Not only are they taking our, blue, our, our blueprint and our playbook and implementing it and selling more houses. And in some cases, remember, this is a year now, we have clients that have quadruple X'd their sales. You know, we have one guy right now in Utah that's gone from like 25 home sales to almost 100 home sales in one year with us. We have some people in other parts of the country that are doing 3x, 2x their business, right? It's incredible what we've been able to do in a small period of time. Now what they've unlocked though is they're now going to get stock for their performance. They're going to get revenue share opportunities for literally just doing what they would be doing anyways, which is building a traditional real estate model. I have coaching clients right now that are in expensive contracts with brokerages that can't they can't get out of and man do they are they kicking themselves because they see how much more profitable they could be with this model. The revenue share opportunity opens up the ability for you to create a pension plan for people in your business. If you're somebody like me who's about giving back and does this from pure passion, it's amazing the fact that I can now use this extra income and profitability and, and pay it forward to other people. It's the best, Eric, like literally, I've never been more profitable and had more fun since I've been in real estate than since I took the leap, got rid of the golden handcuffs and said sorry to the, you know, the big national brokerage and went out and joined with eXp and focused on building our own brand. In fact, we turned, we flipped the switch overnight. We never said anything to any of our clients. We just changed our branding and our signs and we kept going business as usual. Well, what I noticed is our sign calls started going up because we had our phone number to our office on our signs, not the brokerage. So we had more of our sign calls come into our office. Funny how that happens. We started selling more houses. 
-hmm. Our brand was more distinct. So people knew and recognized our Sims brand in our marketplace, which is actually something that we own and is valuable to us. The national brokerage, like no offense to Remax, but I didn't own a piece of Remax. I didn't get anything from Remax, right? Well, all I got from Remax was the, the things that I needed, which was managing broker services and compliance. Now, some people have told me, well, I get tons of referrals from my Remax network. I get referrals from Remax agents still because they know I do a great job. I also get referrals from other brokerages and I get referrals now from EXP and I get referrals from my expansion partners. So my referral business has grown too. So, you know, if you're sitting there and you're scared and you're like, well, I don't want to leave a national brokerage, I get it. You know, we're all humans and fear stops us from doing logical things because it's really, it's built into us from a long time ago to stop us from getting eaten by, by dinosaurs. And I'm not going to get into that today, but ultimately we have this, this thing in our brain that's there to stop us from getting harmed by things, but it's not very logical in our modern society nowadays. And so if you're sitting there thinking, man, I'm so afraid because I, what are my sales? What if my sales drop or, well, people don't know EXP, sell yourself, sell your brand. I've been doing it since day one. I literally built a brand new brand from scratch. And in my first year sold 125 homes, never talking about Remax, only talking about my brand and what we brought to the table. How many of those deals were from Remax? I had one deal in my first year that was from Remax. One deal. It was I'm huge on personal brand and building yourself and not relying on anything but that. Like you need to be in control of your life and your image. Um, so that being said, uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're bringing to the table. So what we're looking is for this. We're looking for people that are motivated, hungry, that want to be successful, are successful. Maybe you have a team, you have a brokerage now, and you want to learn how to build sustainable lead generation systems. Eric and his company are geniuses on that front. They'll teach you the most cost-effective ways to utilize the most important search engine on the planet, Google. They'll teach you how to take advantage of Bing. They'll teach you how to use Facebook as key lead generation tools in your business. These services cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for management services, and a lot of them come with startup fees. He's gonna offer that, that he's gonna take care of running your campaigns for free. I'm gonna cover the other side. I'm gonna cover you the training and mentorship. I, I had bring an entire coaching practice. We have hundreds of hours of training available. We have weekly group training sessions that you and your team are gonna be a part of. We will be your direct business partners. If you need us, we're there. If you need us to help show the plan to somebody, you need us to help implement a process in your business, we will be there. My whole admin team, my ISA team, they're partners in the company too. So how much do people pay for that? Normal. Nothing. And people pay me thousands of dollars monthly for our coaching and get a yeah. tremendous amount of value for it. We're offering it for free. Same. And then that's, this through the EXP the, opportunity. Totally. And that's the beauty of what this model really provides. It's like, in my opinion, and tell me what you think, there's really three steps to this. It's building really good, sustainable, automated lead generating systems which is where I come in. I'm going to help you do that. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to coach you, be your personal marketing mentor. Jason's going to then help you convert those and create systems that help you scale by converting those. And then the last step is what? Building a business. Building a business. And that's what I do. So just so you know who I am, I started and exited production in three and a half years, building a brand new business from scratch in one of the most competitive markets here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I've since started a coaching company a little over a year ago and I've helped implement these systems and I have expansion partners all across Canada and the United States and we've built an amazing mastermind and a movement of people with equity stakes now, people that have multiple sources of income that are more financially profitable, selling more houses and working collaboratively together to level up. And so if you're interested in exploring the opportunity, reach out to us. The value you get just having us as your partner is gonna make a massive difference in your business. And, and there's a reason why you're not seeing a mass exodus of people leaving EXP to go back to traditional brokerages. It's a very small percentage of people that are doing that. And they're the people that never should have been in this model or maybe had the wrong sponsor behind them. But if you get aligned with the right people like you and I, Eric, it's unbelievable what can happen. We will help you build the most profitable real estate practice you've ever imagined in your life as long as you're willing to put in the work, implement mm -hmm. the systems. My playbook is 100% yours and anybody that you ever attract in the company, we will help them 
be successful. And in turn, uh, our families are going to be taken care of because EXP has created a model that allows that. It's just the coolest thing on the planet. And you have so many case studies of people doing this. And what Jason normally will offer to people is have them hire someone like me and pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month where I'm just going to come in and offer all of that to everyone that joins with us. And I know you got to go soon. So let's talk a little bit about how people can get in touch with us if they want to talk more. Like, uh, There's only so much we can do in a video to break down the model on every little bit. but. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in this video and you can get in touch and you can set up a time to chat with Jason and I. We can kind of mastermind and go through the whole process. Love it. My, my information's here too. Eric and I work closely together and we're, uh, we're looking to help you take your business to a new level. And look, if you're scared, I get it. I was scared too. Mm -hmm. But the th difference is, is I have hindsight now. I've done this for a year and I can tell you I'm selling more houses and I'm more profitable than I've ever been in my real estate practice and I feel like more of an entrepreneur than I've ever felt in my life. And maybe you're like, well, I can't do what Jason's done. It doesn't matter. You can do what, what you wanna do. If you wanna just sell 25 homes a year, I'll love, I'd love to help you get there. If you wanna sell 50 homes a year, I'll help you get there. If you have ambitions and you wanna kick my butt and do more than I've ever done, fantastic. I would love nothing more than to help you build that business. And the cool thing is, whether you like it or not, along the way, you're going to build up passive income so that one day you can walk away and have a very lucrative pension plan, not only for yourself, but for the other people that you're uplifting in the industry. Together, we can build amazing businesses and share in, in, in those cost savings and in, in the profitability of the company. Because the model allows us to collaborate. It's so cool. And be invested in one another. Anyways. That's all for today, guys. Leave a comment, get in touch. Be happy to chat. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. See you, bud.